Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about case size and how it's used uh, in Cribmaster to do your item ordering. Case size is basically the how many of a particular item comes in one single package or what is the minimum amount of items you can order at one particular time. I'm going to open up my inventory items and we'll open up this AA battery item. So uh, in this item, if I go to the suppliers tab, you can see that I've got two possible suppliers. My primary supplier, which is Midwest Supply, the case size is set as two because that is the package they sell. If I go to Superior Distribution, they offer the same battery but in a different case size. They offer them in four packs. Well, because Midwest Supply is set as my primary supplier, that is the case size that Cribmaster is going to honor. These are the types of things that you have to take into consideration when you're, when you're planning what items to stock in your cribs. For instance, are you going to dispense these batteries in the package, or are you going to open them up so, and dispense them one by one? In an item like this, because it's a two-pack, our case size is going to be set to two. How we actually dispense the item could be different. You could decide to take the batteries out of the package and dispense them one by one, in which case your default issue quantity would be set to one. Or you could decide to simply dispense the item in their two-pack packages, in which case the default issue quantity would be set to two. Now when you get to the four pack, once again, our case size is going to reflect the minimum amount of items that comes in that package. So in this case, the case, no pun intended, size is going to be set to four. And now your default issue quantity, if you're going to break up the package, you could have uh, your default issue quantity be ones or twos, or you could simply dispense the entire package as a, uh, as a four pack. Another option is to simply have this item split into two different types of items. Even though it's the same battery, one comes in a two pack and the case size is two, and the other one comes in a four pack with the case size four. Same item, but we're listing them differently in Crewmaster to make the distinction. There's no wrong way to set this up. It really, really comes down to how you want to dispense your items and how you want to organize those items in the database. Now back here in Cribmaster, I'm going to open up the properties of a bin. We'll access that AA battery. So a little bit, and then we'll go to our order information tab. Now you may be familiar with this tab. You may notice that I've got fields that are grayed out. That means that they are informational fields. Uh, either they are pulling information from other fields on other screens or there are calculations that the system is doing. One of the fields that is pulled over is the case size that's set at the primary supplier. In this case, if you remember, that is set to two. So I'm going to use this information to set up my mins and maxes. For example, I may set my max to 32. And for the min, we'll cut it in half and say 16. Now I've chosen these values very deliberately. Remember that depending on what supplier I'm buying these batteries from, they come in packs of either 2 or 4. So I'm picking a min and a max that are both divisible by both 2 and 4. Not only that, but the difference, if you were to subtract my min from my max, the difference is also divisible by both 2 and 4. Now that's not required, you're not going to break anything if you don't have the math correct, but it does make things much much easier uh, if you have that set up like that. Now currently the bin quantity for this bin is at 0. Uh, so when I click the Calc Now button, you can see that the order quantity has been set to 32 because we, that's our max. So that is the next purchase order that is going to take place. So let's go to our purchasing ribbon and we'll go to authorize purchasing. 
and there's our order. An order for 32 AA batteries. We'll go ahead and place that order and click the purchase button. And it has produced a purchase order for us. Let's do a preview of that. So here is our purchase order. Everything seems good, except that when you look at the quantity, the quantity is set to 32. Now you know and I know that what we mean is 32 batteries. Well, the supplier ships these in case sizes of two. So instead of sending us 32 batteries, they may end up sending us 32 packages of batteries. And what we'll end up with is 64 batteries, uh, which is, of course, twice what we ordered. And the reason is because Cryptmaster is using the default purchase order, which does not take case size into account. Now, there is a purchase order alternative that does take the uh, case size into account. We just need to point Cribmaster in the right direction. So what we need to do now is determine where Cribmaster is pulling its reports from. To find that out, I'm going to go to my system ribbon and system options and configuration. We'll go ahead and click, click the collapse button. And then what we're looking for is network paths right here. We'll expand that, and under Shared Report Files, we can see where all of our reports are being stored. Now, don't worry if your path is different than mine. Uh, my Cribmaster and database are on my local hard drive. Yours might be on a network drive or possibly a web server. If you want to copy it, make sure you're not actually changing anything. And then we're going to go into Windows Explorer. Up here in the taskbar, we're going to paste in that address. Now, if you scroll down to the P's, notice this uh, PO.RPT. This is the standard PO report that Cribmaster uses. I'm going to right click and say rename. And we'll call this PO underscore old. Now, there's another uh, report in here. PO using case size. I'm going to rename that to just PO. So basically I'm exchanging the standard PO purchase order report with, with one that uses the case size. Okay. Now back here in Cribmaster, I'm going to go back to that bin. my AA battery. And let's go ahead and force an order quantity for 16. Do a calc now. Back in purchasing, we'll go back to the PO here. We'll fill that in and click purchase. All right, now let's do a preview of our PO. So this PO looks a little bit different. Down here we have, uh, instead of you know, 16 units, we have eight box of two. So Grimaster is using our case size instead of the uh, standard uh, unit count. That way we should be able to get the uh, correct amount of items that we're ordering. Okay, that about does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.